there are quite a few things that need to be removed or moved to replace the drive belt on the W124. This is not a quick job and will take you more than five minutes to do. First, you need to move the radiator shroud. The radiator shroud is made up of two parts, the fan guard, yellow arrow, and the shroud, red arrow. The green arrow indicates where someone had installed a wrong radiator hose. A hose pinched like this will severely restrict coolant flow and lead to all kinds of problems. Our project car ended up having a blown head gasket. This was probably one of the reasons. Squeeze in the tab that holds the radiator overflow hose and slide it back out of the clip on the shroud and fan guard as indicated by the red arrow. Set the hose and clip aside. Slide the fan guard to the right, yellow arrow when facing the guard. Rotating the guard will free it from its retainers. When reinstalling, make sure you install the guard with the top marking facing up, red arrow. With the guard free from the shroud, place the guard back over the fan, red arrow. Remove the clip, red arrow, that holds the shroud to the radiator on the top right hand side. Remove the clip that holds the shroud to the radiator on the left side. The clip is located between the two hoses, red arrow. Use care and slide the shroud out between the fan and the radiator, red arrow. Slide the guard off the fan and remove it between the fan and the radiator, red arrow. This photo illustrates how the plastic pegs on the guard, yellow arrows, sit in the corresponding receptacles, red arrow. At this point, you can release the tension on the belt and slip it off of the alternator pulley. Place a 15 millimeter socket over the bolt on the tensioner, red arrow, and turn the socket clockwise. This will untension the belt. If you are replacing the belt, you need to follow the following steps. To remove the fan and clutch, you will need Mercedes-Benz tool 104-589-00-0100, or you can make one out of a 6mm rod. The lower part of the tool will sit in a retaining groove, while the end of the tool sits in a hole in the pulley to hold everything while tightening or loosening the bolt. Red arrow. This picture shows what you will be doing with the tool. The fan, clutch, and pulley all have been removed for illustration purposes. You will be doing this by feel. Insert the end of the tool, yellow arrow, into the retaining groove behind the pulley. You will need to rotate the pulley until the tool finds its seat in the pulley, red arrow. This can take a fair amount of trial and error. It is much easier to spin the pulley if you have already removed the drive belt. Here is an 8mm Allen that we cut off to fit in the space between the fan nut and the radiator. I recommend placing a piece of cardboard, red arrow, over the radiator, then installing the 8mm Allen. This will help prevent damage to the radiator while you are working. The bolt that holds the clutch and fan on is quite long, so be prepared to turn it for a while. Red arrow. Wiggle the fan and clutch off the front of the pulley and remove it from the vehicle. Red arrow. You can now slip the belt off the front of the engine. This diagram illustrates the route the belt takes around the crank and accessories. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.